In this video, I'm gonna show you some slice tips and tricks every single Golang developer needs to know. And by the end of the video, I'm even going to cover some advanced sorting mechanics. The first thing I wanna show you is something that you probably are gonna use a lot of times. Let's say we have uh, a function at users, right? And we're gonna say the users, that's gonna be a slice of string. And uh, in this case, we're just gonna say for the iterator, the user, we're gonna loop through the users and we're gonna just empty print ln and just out, right? So we're gonna say users, the user like this. And of course we need to range over them, right? And if you wanna call this function, um, you most of the time gonna do something like this, right? You're gonna say string, you're gonna say Alice, uh, Bob and for example foo right and if we run this you could say make not make run go run main dot go right and we have all these users right um, but let me show you this what you also could do is basically uh, remove these uh, brackets and say dot 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 string right and instead of passing your users in like this you could do for example just say Alice uh, Bob and foo Right, and this is exactly the same thing. If we run this again, you see, it works exactly the same. So why would you use uh, such a signature like that? Why, why would you do that? Well, for example, let's say uh, we're gonna uh, modify this a little bit. Let's say add user, and we're gonna say, for example, the user, and that's gonna be a string, right? And let's say we have, um, users here, global variable, real quick. We're gonna say it's gonna be a slice of string, empty slice of string, and then we're gonna say add users. You're gonna say users equals append uh, the users and the user, right? So if we wanna add a user to our user list, then we're gonna say, for example, Alice, right? Like this. If we run this, uh, wait, let me print out our um, user list real quick what's going on here help me like this we're gonna say users and let's say uh, make run that's because my muscle memory i'm using a lot of make files go run main.go like this and then we have alice in our in our in our slice of strings which is normal and if you want to add bob we need to copy this and you need to say bob and if you want to add foo then we need to copy this again and then run this go run main.go and then we have all of them in our slice but i'm going to show you a little trick so this is actually nasty right let's say we're gonna we're gonna delete this, these guys and we're gonna say for example add user and we're gonna say instead of uh, a string we're gonna say dot 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 string right and instead of saying user in our append we're gonna say dot 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 user right so now if we run this um we're gonna say go run main.go Alice is in our string, is in our uh, slice of strings. But you could also say Bob, like this. And and maybe maybe foo, right? Easy peasy. Go run main.go. It's exactly the same thing. And if we want to add another one, we can just keep going. Uh, bar, for, ex for example. Uh, and this all works just fine. So this is a nice little trick if you want to append things, but you don't want to always specify a list uh, of, of the types uh, you want to add to something, right? The next uh, thing I'm going to show you is a very common problem. Let's say we have a slice of anything and you want to remove something from the slice by its index, right? And there are very common pitfalls for that and Golang does not have any built-in support to handling this. So let's say we have uh, numbers, right? And that's going to be a slice of integers. And let's say we have one, two, three, four, and five. And let's make a function real quick, a remove from slice. We're gonna say slice is gonna be, in this case, a slice of integers. We're gonna say the index is an integer and we're gonna return a slice of integers back, right? So to remove this, we can say something like a slice index is gonna be, a, is gonna be the slice, a len slice minus one, right? We're gonna shift everything. And then we're gonna just return slice, len slice, and we need to shift this. And then we're gonna say minus one again, like this, right? 
So if we want to say, uh, let's see if this works, we're going to say print ln. We're going to say uh, print me the numbers like this. And actually, we're going to print remove from slice. And we're going to see what's going on. Let's say we want to remove, uh, let's say you want to remove the number two, which is in the index position number one. And we're going to say go run main dot go. And we see that two is removed, but we see a problem. And the problem is that our slice is not ordered anymore. Although we have a very performant way to remove an element from our slice, but it's not ordered. So that could be a problem. How can we fix this? Well, we can make another function and we're going to say uh, remove from slice. And we could say with order or something like this. And again, let's copy everything inside of this uh, parentheses and paste it in here. And we're going to return a slice of integers back. Uh, in this case, we're going to say return append. And we're going to say return me the slice. Uh, it's going to be index. And like this. And then we're going to say append me slice index slice index plus one. Like this. And we do the dot dot dot. So let's see if this works. We're going to say and we're going to copy it and we're going to say remove from slice uh, with order like this and uh, go run main.go. And we can see that in the first example, we removed our element, but we don't have, we don't preserve the order. And in the second uh, example, in the second function, we uh, also removed it by, by the index, but we uh, keep the order. And the first approach is the more performant approach because we don't actually copy stuff. But in the second approach, we actually copy the slice, which is less performant, but we preserve the order. And if you really want to make this uh, clean, you could say something like this. Uh, type, you could make your own type, let's say uh, type uh, numbers and that's going to be a slice of integers and then we could say func, you can attach a function onto this, we could say um, or maybe we could name this my slice or something, I have no clue, we're going to say s my slice and my slice is going to be, <coughs> oh, wait it's just a function, we're going to say remove Let's make it capital, why not? Remove, uh, are we gonna say the index is gonna be an integer? Are we gonna return a slice of integers? And then we can actually copy whatever you want. Let's say we're gonna copy this append thingy like this and we need to adjust, uh, adjust this a little bit. We're gonna say S and S here. And then we could do these numbers is gonna be a my slice type. And then you could say numbers equals um, numbers remove and remove me the first thing and instead of printing out the shenanigans we're going to say numbers like this what's going on yep and then the, just do a clear and then go run main.go and we have the same thing but a little bit more cleaner and last but not least a very common task we always need to do with these slices and that's sorting them so how do we do that well i'm gonna show you exactly how that works so let's say we have a type of uh, numbers and it's going to be a slice of integers right so if you want to sort we need to implement an interface which is the sorter interface and how do we do that basically we're gonna create a function you're gonna say n numbers uh, like this and the first thing we need to do is say len right this function is needed so len returns an int and the only thing we need to do is say len uh, n right easy uh, what's going on we need to return this of course the next function we need to do is the less the swap let's let's start with the swap function so the swap function basically takes in uh, takes in an y and a j and that's going to be an integers. That's going to be the indexes of um, the things in our slice, the indexes of our slice. And that's going to return completely nothing. And let's make this a little bit cleaner like this. So uh, the thing is, how do we swap these? It's very simple. You're going to say n, y, n, uh, j, 
uh, is going to be N, J, and N, Y. Like this, I need to be careful because my JJ is my Vim exit command, so it's nasty. So that's basically our swap function, right? It's very simple. We're going to swap uh, these two indexes with each other and um, Go will take care of the rest. And the last function we need to implement is the um, last function, which is basically the function that will determine what the function that will determine determine <laughs> the sorting of um, or slice, right? So we're going to say less, and less is going to take the exact same thing. It's going to be a y and a j int, and it's going to return a boo, right? So let's say uh, how we're going to do this. Very simple, actually. We're going to say a return n y smaller than n j, right? That's basically the last function. So let's test this real quick. We're going to say that our numbers uh, are going to be a slice. It's going to be a slice of, no, it's going to be numbers because our type, our number type above is a slice of int. So we can say numbers. And then we're going to say, for example, 1, 10, 4, and 9, maybe, and maybe 3, right? So then we're going to say fmt println. And we're going to say the numbers, right? And if we run this, then we're gonna see exactly how we type them. And if you wanna sort them, then the only thing we need to do is say sort, sort, put in the numbers, right? And if we uh, go run main.go this again, then we can see that everything is sorted, right? So let's take a closer look at this sort function right here. You can see uh, sort, it takes an interface and it's basically the sort interface and um, where is it sort? You see here, this this is the interface I actually mentioned. It's very weird. They call it interface interface, to be honest. But hey, it is what it is. And you see the length function. You see the less, the less function. And you see the swap function, right? So another cool trick we can do is basically, let's say we want to uh, sort them by uh, decrement and sort them by increment, right? So how could we do this? Well, we could do something like, for example, type um, by increment. It's going to be a structure like this and then we gonna embed the numbers inside of this uh, by ink structure and of course we need to basically copy the whole shebang right and place it and why do i not leave any space in these functions that's because uh, it's a very common practice in Golang if you implemented the sort interfaces that you basically stick them together close to uh, the type you want to sort. It's just a convention. It's not needed, but hey, just want to give you guys that information. So, of course, we have some issues here. We're going to say, um, actually, you could say just by ink, by ink, and do the same thing here, by increment. Um, of course, we need to adjust a couple of stuff. We're going to say len numbers in this case. We're going to say n uh, numbers numbers what's going on here help numbers here numbers here and numbers here and the same thing here i know it's a little bit uh, i could do replace all and everything i know i know forgive me my sins you see i'm actually and numbers what's going on oh, yeah all right so cool so we have this uh, by increment which is basically exactly that yeah yeah let's test this real quick so for example uh we want to say sort sort the numbers but we want to sort them by ink right and then we can just do this you see we we wrap the numbers in the by ink thingy and then we could uh go run main.go like this and then it all just works uh, completely fine but if we want to uh sort them by decrement right where we gonna reverse them then we basically can copy the whole shebang like this, paste it above. We could say by deck, uh, the, the exact same thing. We embed the numbers. Um, can I do something nasty? Uh, rename the symbol and we're going to say by deck. Is it working? No, it's... Man, I will do it man manually. It's okay. No worries. I got this by deck by deck 
and the only thing we need to do is basically uh, reverse this thing right so the, we have these numbers we're gonna sort them by increment right and then we're gonna basically copy this print them again here right but instead of sorting them by increment we're gonna sort them by decrement and then we're gonna say uh, go run main dot go right and you see we have an increment and we have a decrement of our list i hope this is going to help you in your day-to-day -day golang shenanigans if you like this video and you're willing to learn more about golang consider subscribing to my channel give me a thumbs up and leave your questions in the comments and let me know what i should cover next and i'm looking forward to see you in one of my live streams cheers